Now we have a very special guest on the show, Krishna, because you know beyond this hype and hoopla, uh, the fact of, of the matter is that India is a very important market for Apple. So beyond startups and developers, that's what they're looking to do, really expand the market. Uh, their retail stores are going to be key and the sale of refurbished phones is going to be key. We don't know yet if the government is going to have a rethink on that count. But to really get more perspective on that, we are joined by a very special guest, a globally renowned Apple analyst, someone who knows everything about Apple, who's really tracked this for years. Uh, Horace Didi, joining us all the way from the US uh, East Coast of ASIMCO. Thank you so much for joining us on ET Now Startup Central. I want to start by asking you, as someone who's tracked Apple very closely over the years, uh, what is what do you make of you know Tim Cook's high profile in their visit and uh, the way it's really looking at it at a, as a big market now? Well, I think so. Um, I, I don't know when. It's, it's, that's an open question. But as far as the opportunity for Apple, India is as large as China. The, uh, the population certainly is there. The potential for economic prosperity is there. The growth opportunity in terms of middle class as a percentage of population is there. So from the macroeconomic point of view, there is no distinction as far as I can see. What is this is Krishna coming to you from outside the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel in Mumbai where Tim Cook is staying on his uh, visit over here. Now I have to ask you this simple question. You know, pricing India is such a really price sensitive market. You have a competitor like Samsung which has phones from all ranges and you have the Chinese phone makers now you know, capturing so much market share. You know, how do you think Apple can crack the price code here as far as the Indian market is concerned? At the end of the day, Apple phones are considered super expensive even to date, even with all the 5C innovations that they did Apple is a super expensive phone in India if they want to have a larger India play how do you think they can crack the price code here well I hear a lot of the, about the price sensitivity but again I think that's a macroeconomic consideration there are many people in China who couldn't afford iPhones 20 years ago or even 10 years ago and there are still many, still many who don't who can't afford it today uh, but there's a there's an uh, uh, there's a there's a demand for the product today uh, I also remember a time when uh, Nokia was 70% uh, market share in, uh, in India. I was at Nokia at the time, in fact. So uh, preferences do change. Uh, people went from, uh, from uh, Nokia to Samsung, and uh, they can certainly change again. Uh, pricing is also something that Apple can affect through its decisions in terms of product mix. So uh, certainly uh, these are not insurmountable problems. How important uh, do you think the sale of refurbished phones is going to be for Apple to be able to expand its market? I mean, that's something it was banking on, but you know, that was turned down by the government recently. And there's indication that this is something that Cook is going to push for uh, in his meeting uh, with the top government officials. But how key do you think that, was, that is going to be? Well, it's certainly an, interest, an important issue in the short term because I think that's been uh, that's one of the uh, strategies that Apple has tried to use, and I think they've used successfully in other emerging markets. Uh, the, uh, the the issue is a political one, I believe. Uh, but again, I'm hopeful because we had political issues with respect to other distribution questions, for example, retail sector uh, opening up in, in India for Apple, which uh, Apple considers very important to its brand. Uh, and that certainly seems to have been resolved. Uh, so I think uh, as a political discussion, uh, there are opportunities there as well. Uh, but let's bear in mind that this is a short term issue. Uh, if India uh, was really important to Apple, uh, and I think it is, uh, Apple should be making changes in its product mix in order to accommodate India. This has happened before, again, with, with China. Uh, we saw variants of the iPhone, although not seeming uh, apparent on the surface, but there are changes in the product and also in the ecosystem and many other details behind the scenes in terms of uh, accommodations for China. And I think this can happen for India as well. But yes, uh, I wanted to understand this. You spoke about uh, product mix. Uh, tell us, you know, what kind of a product mix or strategy do you think that Apple should be looking at uh, to crack the market over here in India? You know, it has about 3% or even it has a minuscule market share over here. If it needs to capture a significant market share, what is the product mix or strategy that uh, Apple should be looking at? 
We have to be aware of the time dimension. It took five years for Apple to really become strong in China, and I think it may take another five years. So it's difficult to really foresee that far ahead in crystal ball gazing, as you say. Uh, there are many things behind the scenes, uh, certainly in distribution and retail, but also things like opening research centers, uh, encouraging developers, uh, uh, reaching out to, to various partnerships with mobile operators uh, so that they could en encourage uh, people to try things. Even things like around financing the product through the creative ways of uh, offering incentives and so on. Uh, a lot of things may be tried, a lot of things may fail, but I think this is this is about uh, persistence over a long period of time, making sure they crack the nut, as Tim Cook has before referred to the problem in China, so they felt they had cracked the Chinese puzzle in 2012, and I think they're trying now to figure that out in India. You know, if you really talk to critics, the sense that they give about Apple is it's been largely indifferent to India uh, compared to, say, a Google, a Facebook, or, or even an Amazon in recent years. I know this is not an apple-to-apple -apple comparison, pun intended there, but uh, do you think, you know, this renewed push is coming now because they have no choice that, uh, that you know, India is one of the last growth markets that they can tap into alongside China? Well, there's two questions there. I think uh, India has always been important. Uh, it's only about a matter of timing uh, for, for Apple because what we've seen is that in many ways, 4G networks were not present. There was a time, I remember when the iPhone 3G launched, there were people asking, why doesn't it come to India? And the answer was simply there were no 3G networks in India at the time. And so now we're starting to see networks become available. Uh, and also, generally speaking, the economy, the prosperity, the number of people in the middle class needs to grow to a certain level for Apple to have uh, a sufficient uh, presence uh, in, in, in terms of market share. Uh, oops, I apologize. Um, is the, the, the question also as far as the, the competitors in Google and, uh, and Amazon uh, and others, um, those products tend to be free in terms of what users need to, have, to, to pay at the beginning. And uh, the, the, Apple is not a product that is free, and generally it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hardware product. Uh, and so we have we have to be aware of, of some of these limitations in terms of their brand, um, and, and and certainly uh, I could also turn that question around and ask why those brands that you mentioned are not accepted in China and those again are banned for political reasons in those in in China. So everyone has to bear uh, the burdens of uh, of their their uh, brand and and the politics involved. All right, uh, Horace, you know, after all, we are here at uh, ET Now Startup Center. So let's talk about the uh, you know, impact on uh, startups and the developer ecosystem uh, over here in India, considering that, uh, you know, uh, both Apple and Tim Cook have uh, huge plans as far as engaging with the India startup eco ecosystem goes. We just spoke to a developer over here uh, who was part of the uh, round table of four developers who sat with Tim Cook today here at the Taj Mahal Hotel uh, in uh, Kolaba. Talk to us about the impact of it on the startup, on startups over here in the country. Yes, it's a, that's actually a great opportunity because India is known for its uh, great intellectual capital. Uh, obviously, we've had decades of uh, of involvement in the IT sector by uh, by Indian uh, firms and Indian uh, uh, you know uh, talent and, and individuals. Uh, they 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 are no stranger to the IT economy, and certainly having them involved in the app economy is great. I think there's a strong correlation between uh, the local communities building apps and the availability of the product. Uh, it's it's something that, that we saw in China develop, we saw in Western Europe developing, uh, and, and we have, as, as Apple likes to point out, millions of jobs created by uh, by by the app economy uh, in those in those uh, national economies uh, and and it would be wonderful for India to develop that same uh, degree of uh, success for for its developers and uh, it's a it's again it's a matter of time and and uh, I think these things do work together nicely and and uh, there's going to be a, a, a wonderful opportunity I think for developers in India 
Finally, you know, in his uh, recent earnings call, Tim Cook said that he sees India where China was seven to ten years back. Uh, do a little crystal ball, ball gazing for us. In seven to ten years, does India have the potential to even, you know, surpass China, become a dominant market for Apple? How is that going to pan out? Well, let, let's be, of course, uh, uh, realistic. Uh, what does it mean to be successful in, in China is only uh, still a very tiny market share compared to the overall number of users. Uh, so, so, uh, but it is drawing a, a great deal of growth from from uh, from China. So, I don't suggest, I wouldn't suggest that Apple, even in ten years, would have anything close to a majority. I would even say, perhaps, not even twenty percent market share in in India. Uh, nevertheless, what typically Apple does is obtains the most valuable customers in the market. So, in the sense that these are the people who are likely to spend the most, to engage the most, to shop the most, to be most uh, uh, most visible and influential. Uh, and so, this is the question for India. I think really is is can Apple rise to the point where it's seen as the brand of choice for for aspirational. Uh, middle-class uh, individuals. Uh, that is more of a brand question, and I think, uh, in, indeed, over time, uh, the the uh, delivering great quality product consistently brings you that sort of brand appeal. Uh, and uh, the same can be said for many brands. It's not just Apple. Uh, and uh, that's a that's a that's really, I think, what the what's driving the the strategy of the company. It's not a tactical game. It's very much a strategic brand development game for Apple. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.